Hey, how we doing gang? Thanks for dropping by and welcome to yet another one of my uh, classical guitar strings reviews. And today I've got something very special for you. Now, if you're anything like me, you absolutely love the sound of brand new strings on your guitar, but you hate changing them, especially when you're changing them on a classical or nylon strung guitar like this one, and you have to tie all of those crazy little knots at the back end there. Don't you just hate that? And isn't it a time waster? Well, I know there are actually um, a few ball end classical or nylon strings out there on the marketplace. Daddario do some. Uh, Martin do a ball end classical guitar string. And I think uh, Ernie Ball and maybe Fender as well. There might be a couple of others. I'm actually doing um, a series on, on ball end classical guitar strings as we speak. But um, what have I found? Something very special for you. If you don't want to tie the knots on here and you're looking for uh, an easy way of doing it, the ball end classical strings, unfortunately, uh, um, there's not a lot of choice. Um, you, most of them only do nylon. Um, there's very few companies that do them, so you're a bit stuck with uh, the strings that you use. And if you're like me, um, I like using carbon strings um, on my tailor. And unfortunately, carbon strings just do not come with a ball end fitting at all. Um, impossible to get them. So, as I said, to the rescue, Alba guitar beads. What a lifesaver these little things are. Let me put my guitar down and I'll show you exactly what they are. Firstly, let's get a bit closer here. In this little package, we have six of these little plastic blocks can see that there oh, it's not very well focusing but I'm hoping you can see that with three little holes in them and this takes out all of the work of tying those luthier knots on the back end basically what happens is you'll see that there's a flat side and there's also a recess side the recess side goes against your bridge and the flat side points out and all you do is you take your string you feed your string through the hole in your bridge and then you go through the top hole first so you go through that pull enough slack out go I'm hoping you can get this in here in focus go back in through the bottom hole leaving a bit of a loop and then you actually come back up again through that hole there and then what you'll do is see the loop I've made there you take this piece and you pass it through the loop and then all you have to do then is just pull it tight and there you have your knot whoop, not focusing very well again let's see if we can get that up closer so we can get it in focus that is the knot there at last and that's what sits across the back of your string and then that obviously once you fed it through just goes nicely against the back end of your bridge there okay now I'm going to be putting these on here in a minute and fitting them for you and showing them but I wanted to show them off first and that's basically it a lifesaver so now instead of looking around for some ball end strings you can fit any type of strings you like, like I personally like knob locks and other strings like that. You can use these little balls on the black end. They come in all different colours. Okay, I've chose white because I like the contrast against my uh, ebony black bridge. But they also come in black, reds, yellows, blues, greens. So you can mix and match them. Do your your favourite uh, football team if you wanted or, uh, you know, whatever. Whatever suits your, your clothing on the time. So, And I've had it on good authority that as I'm recording this as well, They've just brought out and introduced a um, special uh, edition of uh, gunmetal grey, silver plated and gold beads as well, which come in a lovely little presentation box and are perfect for uh, birthday presents or Christmas gifts or any sort of thing. If you want to give, give uh, your favourite classical guitar player a nice little gift, um, these are the things to do. Album guitar beats. Remember them. I'm going to, um, I'll leave you a link 
down below anyway to the to the website you can see the websites on there and uh, where you can actually purchase these yourself now listen i'm going to pop off for now for two minutes i'm going to shoot off i'm going to fit these now onto my guitar so you can see them all fitted and uh, i'll be back in two minutes um see you in a second bye and we're back with our beads fitted and there they are absolutely lovely love the way they look now if we can get that focused in there a little bit so we can see that's what they look like on the back end there looking lovely really really pleased with them and a couple of little things i want to add um, first thing is you'll notice the advantage of, of having these beads in there instead of tying the knots is the first thing you'll see is you get there if we look at the attack angle off the bridge is much tighter because it's going straight into the hole in the bridge there and it's not being pulled up you know when you tie the little knots around there you tend to pull them up a little bit which raises that angle a little bit now that the experts will tell you should give you better tone and better volume because you're going straight down with a tight attack angle and you're not actually pulling your string up a little bit and i love them so quick and easy to fit took me about five minutes and there you have it so just so you remember what we're looking at there we go alba guitar beads you see the website on the bottom there www.albaguitarbeads.com an absolute lifesaver if you don't like tying those luthier classical nylon string knots on your guitar and uh, listen i'll leave you a link down below in the description as well um the best place where you can get them if you're in spain there there you can get them actually on amazon so i'll leave you a link to that you can get them direct off amazon um, if you're in spain it's a little bit difficult but i'll leave you links below as well to um a little shop where i got them from which was abrina's musica in jerez de la frontera so a shout out to them because i ordered them on a on a thursday they were dispatched on a friday and arrived on saturday morning fantastic service so thank you very much uh frederico there in uh abrines musica in jerez de la frontera um big shout out to you remember listen if you've enjoyed this please give me a little like hit the subscribe button down there and if you've enjoyed this video you might also like the one that's going to pop up right there in the corner and i'll see you again next week bye now